What is a sports bra and why should you wear a sports bra? I hear you asking me. This, well, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Hello and welcome. Today, I want to discuss a topic that is very close to my heart and I'm very passionate about. It's the different types of sports bras and how to choose the correct sports bra for the exercise that you're doing. So I've got a fun fact for you. Did you know that if you are an A cup lady, on average, you bounce one and a half inches per movement. And if you are a G cup lady, you bounce up to five and a half inches per high impact exercise. So what I'm trying to say is that sports bras are for everybody, irrespective of your size. So I like to compare sports bras to shoes because I love shoes. So you wouldn't choose to go running in a pair of high heels or a pair of flip flops. And it's the same with sports bras. You have to know which one to choose for the correct exercise. There are no muscles in the breast tissue. So excessive amounts of breast movements put strain on the Cooper's ligament, which causes them to stretch and there's nothing naturally there to restore them. So you have to think of the Cooper's ligament a little bit like a rubber band. So if you overstretch that rubber band, all it does is creates a sagging. It doesn't matter what size you are, whether you are a A cup or a K cup, you should all be wearing sports bras. Do different types of sports require different types of sports bras? Ding, ding, ding. The answer is yes. All sports bras are not created equally. They are created for different types of sport. So if you have, if you're doing a low impact exercise like yoga versus a high impact sport such as running, you need a different type of sports bra. The impact on your breast changes based on the intensity of the exercise that you're doing. So different impact levels and what are those impact levels so sports bras have been created to offer three different levels of impact and levels of support what are those three levels i hear you ask there is high impact there is medium impact and there is low impact so high impact sports bras have been created to reduce and minimize movement. So with a high impact sports bra, you're looking at reducing movement by at least 70%. Because don't forget, if you are a G cup, you could have up to five and a half inches of bounce when doing any high impact exercise. So examples of high impact exercise, if we've not got it by now, would be running, racket sports, kickboxing, tap dancing, aerobics they would be high impact medium impact sports bras have been created to reduce bounce moderately now what does moderately mean it means that you're probably going to reduce the bounce by approximately 50 percent so you're not going to get the support from a high impact but you're going to get more support than you would do from a low impact so if you think of moderate exercise to be hiking or brisk walking or road cycling. Low impact sports bras are the lowest support that you can get. In fact, with this sports bra, you're getting pretty much no support from there. It's probably less than it would be if you wore your normal bra. A lot of these low impact sports bras are great fashion pieces. They have been created for when you are doing stretching, like yoga, Pilates, or if you're just walking normally, this is why you would choose a low impact sports bra. So depending on what kind of exercise you're doing, I have included a chart below, which lists the different impact levels you need for different sports. Now, if I've missed off a sport from this list, because it's not a massively comprehensive list, please comment below and I will respond and let you know what style and support level of bra you need for that exercise. 
in my next video, I am going to be going into taking a more in-depth, deep dive into the different constructions and the different styles of sports bras. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you.